Trees here are alive with birds. Beautiful chemtrail covered sky day to y'all. Okay, i tell you that uh, abiogenesis is the very foundation of evolutionary theory. And you all laugh at me and you say, no it isn't, evolution has nothing to do with abiogenesis. Well there, we have a big disagreement. Why? Where did evolution start? How did life itself evolve? if not from non-life. If life did not evolve from non-life, then it was created. If it was created, it did not need to evolve. By random chance, or it's a false theory and a lie and to say that Evolution has nothing to do with bi biogenesis is also a lie, a big lie. And they call us liars for saying that it has everything to do with evolution. You know, for life to evolve from simple forms to complex forms, life has to first form. And then there's another problem. There's no such thing as a simple life form. Even the most basic single-celled organism is very complex. Requires a lot of complex interactions with little tiny machines in its body in order for it to function in the first place. And the probability the probability of chemicals randomly creating just one protein capable of forming anything close to an RNA molecule is so astronomical as to be laughable, as to be considered a possibility. Um, And you all know this. You continue to affront our intelligence and assault insult us by saying we don't know crap. We need to get an education. Well, I'm here to educate you. You don't know crap. You need to get an education. You believe in evolution and you believe the lie that's been taught by the propaganda industry by the socialist agenda evolution is really nothing but socialist religion a humanist religion a secular religion it has nothing to do with true science now another that's not just my only proof right there we know, through science, that the universe had a beginning. That even time and space had a beginning. You can't have energy just creating everything when there's no time and space for that energy in which to interact. Therefore, by nature, the cause of the natural universe must be supernatural. In other words, outside of nature, outside of time and space. This cause must be uncaused. Otherwise, you risk the infinite regression, which is a philosophical blunder.
There's my second evidence. Third one. Fine tuning of life, nature itself, of all the laws of physics and of nature itself. Just one hundredth of a thousandth of a degree off, and nothing exists in these properties of this. It shows a control mind behind it. This indicates a controlling mind behind it. Fibonacci sequence is seen everywhere. Everywhere. It, you look for it and you'll find it. It's in everything. From the universe, the way the universe and the gal galaxies themselves move, to the shape of your body, to the shape of a flower and a tree, right down to the design of our solar system, and even down to the minuscule properties at the subatomic level. Even at the minuscule properties at the subatomic level, you find the Fibonacci sequence echoed in the vibrations of those little subatomic particles. It shows controlled ordered sequence which cannot come about simply by chance. It shows a mind at work behind it. Hope y'all are having a good day. Peace, love, and understanding be with you all.